officer. I believe true leaders have a good vision. All right. Again, we are going to have a true leader, another leader. Joining with us now is the Education Minister of Sri Lanka, Honorable Dinesh Gunawardena. Sir, the floor is yours. Hi, Moan. Principal Shreke Fernando of Prince of Wales College, Professor Shamarudi Alvis, Dr. Kosiba Catherine Malibar, CEO of KDM Global, delegates, observers, teachers, parents, students, dear members of the Old Boys Association, the Prince of Wales, and with my highest respect, the family members of Charles de Sousa, the great philanthropist of our country. It is my pleasure to virtually attend the International Education Conference 2021 to celebrate the 145th anniversary of the Prince of Wales College. I give my appreciation for the invitation extended to attend today's events by the principal of Prince of Wales College. It is with gratitude that I wish to recall the gift of Prince of Wales College Moratua, which was founded as a prestigious school by one of the greatest philanthropists in the 19th century, Sir Charles de Soisa, who hails from an Ayurveda and a pioneer plantation industrialist family and considered uh, one of the wealthiest Sri Lankans of his day. Over 100 years ago, during the early 20th century, my father, the, the late Minister Philip Gunavadana, was educated at Prince of Wales College, thus bringing further honor to our esteemed institution for producing an anti-imperialist freedom fighter and a national hero of Sri Lanka. My mom's fond memories as a child were my late father's recollections of his commute to school as a young student from Boronuga to Koskama. He would set foot on a board and come down the Kalani River and then through connected canals of Veras and Bolgada to reach the Prince of Wales College in Moratua. Similarly, I feel proud to have associated myself together with my brother as young members of parliament three decades ago, back when we established the very first computer science room at the Prince of Wales College in memory of our late father. Thus, it is my pleasure to see how far we have progressed. From my late father's time as a student over 100 years to where we convene through technology, driven virtual space. At this moment, today as the Minister of Education, I am made aware that the main theme of the conference is sustainable education in the new normal. The conference also focuses on the sub thematic areas such as interdependency of education, well-being, building student leadership, educational technology and digital divide, inclusive education for social equality, labor market trends and education, and modern approaches to the challenges of education. These are important critical areas of discussion in a progressive dynamic society in shaping its future. Conference of this nature are welcomed by the Ministry of Education, which in line with His Excellency the President, Gotabe Rajapaksa's vistas of prosperity and awaken the school education system to create a human capital foundation for a knowledgeable society. We will improve student learning, equity and efficiency of the school system, strengthen the school leadership and empower through the training of teachers and principals, facilitate virtual learning for students across the country and provide vocational skills, training for school leavers to prepare 
them for the demands of the future workplace. Allow me to propose one important watchword to add environment. Since the climate change should always be an important consideration in any discussion about an island nation, and it is the present and the future generations that will have to pay fully as repercussions if we do not care for it, for which the schools are the best players for the discussion. The participants of today's conference can share their experiences and ideas in the plenary sessions, which shall act as a good opportunity for the participants to enhance their knowledge on the various aspects, the field of education in the new normal. Your prestigious school, the Prince of Wales Moratour, for nearly a century and a half, has produced finest of citizens, immensely contributing to the national wealth as a human resource. And some have traveled beyond us shores and have made Sri Lanka even more proud. I urge the Past Pupils Association to continue its interaction with the schools, students, teachers, parents, community in delivering much greater endeavors. Thus, I wish to extend my sincere appreciation to the organizers and wish all of you fruitful, productive educational conference. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. All right. If you remember, I said that it's going to be a memorable for all the Cambrians. And now it's a golden moment which we all have been waiting for. Now it's time to inaugurate the education, International Educational Conference 2021 by our Chief Guest, Honorable Dinesh Nawaz. I hereby declare the PWC International Education Conference. 2021 officially open.